All right, considering the lock-in nature of a platform, i.e. AM4, do you expect to see some budget offerings when AM5 releases? Unlike Ryzen 5000, it can't rely on older CPUs to make up the budget offering offerings. Yeah, definitely there will be, uh, perhaps not initially, uh, but there will be affordable AM5 CPUs because if there wasn't, they'd have to keep AM4 alive and there'd be this weird like why would you buy am4 when am5's there and yeah exactly it, it'd, yeah it'd be messy no they they definitely want to incentivize people to jump on am5 because if we get like raptor lake uh and that will be a carryover for the lj 1700 platform if you wanted a budget friendly cpu you'd probably just go with intel so they'd lose a huge part of the market share and the market share is an important thing you really want to get people and that's why am4 was such a genius move because it, it it's probably the most successful move that amd made with the ryzen platform it's the most successful cpu platform ever i would say yeah in terms of one socket oh for yeah. sure because i remember... have to go way back to like the core two duo era with like the lga 775 mm -hmm. um as being the last the previous most successful yeah it's probably right it's probably right yeah am4 was a huge success and a big part of why it was very easy to recommend Ryzen because sure, performance wasn't quite as good, but they were really good value options. And although the road we got a bit rocky there at times, the you know they did to a, well they they promised support anyway. They came through with it in the end. We sort of had to do a bit of pushing back there, but hopefully with AM5 they can come out, and they can offer or they can uh, guarantee support for a certain period of time and actually come through with it on this time and not go oh that actually turned out to be too hard. Let's not do that anymore. But if they do. It, uh, that'll be, I think that'll be a deciding factor for next generation. If, if, if AMD come out and say, we're supporting AM5 for at least the next three generations, which will be one more generation than presumably Intel will support. That's a big deal. And people say, oh, you know, people don't upgrade every generation or they don't upgrade every other generation, which is absolutely not true. Yeah. Like if you had a bought a Ryzen 5 2600 on a, on a good quality B450, 450 board which there were some but you know msi had like the tomahawk for example that was a pretty good quality board the amount of you, you could stick like uh well you could stick a 5800x 3d on that board not saying you would necessarily go that premium but even like a ryzen 5 uh 5600 big upgrade you can use the same generation same memory same motherboard quick and easy go down your local store buy the cpu stick it in there huge performance upgrade all it required was probably a BIOS update and away you are. So yeah, to say that people wouldn't take advantage of that, I think is definitely wrong. Uh, and I yeah. think there's plenty of people that have taken advantage of the upgradability of AM4 to this point in time. Yeah, so I think Ryzen 5000 was a unique situation where they could rely on parts like the, the Zen 2 processors for their sort of 200... One hundred dollars. They just had range. so many. See, so had so many premium products using that node. Yeah. That you just could not release so many options. Whereas I think with the the upcoming parts, they're gonna well, they're basically gonna have to. They're gonna have to have some sort of budget part and get people into the AM5 platform, get people used to it. Sort of. They've got to incentivize people to invest. Yeah. In it. So a Ryzen five seventy. Just trying to think of what it'll be. 7600, would it? Because it's the 7000 7, series is going to be the next gen. Sounds like an Intel CPU. So they're yeah. going to need a Ryzen 5 7600 type product yeah. that, that costs like about yeah. a Ryzen 5 to product. Dollars. Yeah. A Ryzen 3 a Ryzen, Ryzen 5 product. A Ryzen 5 non X part that's really good value. Get people on the AM5 platform and the dividends will, will pay for themselves. Yeah, after. Around, the, around the $200 yeah. US mark. Yeah. For a, yeah. They'll set up that platform. Yep.